Good morning, I'm Robert Fogarty. I'm a hospitalist at Yale, and our project was called the Eye Care. It's the Interactive Cost Awareness Resident Exercise. Uh, the purpose of the project, and we developed a small team around this, was to try and integrate cost awareness into our internal medicine residency program, uh, but to do so without displacing any of the clinical education that's so important, uh, and to make it interesting to actually engage the learners so we get the residents engaged from the beginning. Uh, we looked at our program, we identified morning report or resident report as a good opportunity. And one of our morning report sessions is probably similar to things that most of the people in the room have sat through. The chief resident goes to the literature, it's usually the New England Journal, they find a case that's interesting. And they prepare that case in an unknown format. So they would stand in the front of the room with a PowerPoint and present the history of present illness, the physical exam, any other pertinent history. And then the residents in the room, in a collaborative fashion, mutually come up with their own diagnostic plan chest x-rays, CBCs, whatever they want, to try and reach the diagnosis. At the end of the hour, they give their, uh, their, their suggested diagnosis to the chief, they find out if they're right or wrong, and then a short didactic session follows. And then the way this had happened at, at our institution for a long time is that was the end of the session. Go back to the wards, finish your work. What we did is we got uh, the list of tests ahead of time, and we got someone in our hospital finance department to actually give us the charge master number for each of those tests. And that number was given to the chief resident. And the, the, the trainees knew we were doing this, uh, but they uh, were told the session wouldn't change. So they worked through the, the report as they always had, but then at the end of the session, they actually got a bill for how much they spent in the past hour. So congratulations, you diagnosed Stevens Johnson, you spent $24,000, <laughs> whatever it was. Uh, and this was great, everyone was interested. Uh, and then, the real gamification, to borrow a term, um, came about when we split the groups. So we have three training sites, and we have three levels of trainees. We have medical students on the medicine service, interns, and residents. And we split each of these into individual closed-door sessions. So the medical students at three sites go on Monday, the interns at three sites go on Tuesday, the residents at three sites go on Wednesday, and they're all closed-door. You go in, you all do the same case, it's all private, you don't talk about it. And then on Friday, your teaching attendings come in the room. Everybody comes and watches. And you watch your attendings go through the same process that you went through two or three days earlier. And then the last slide of the attending session is an Excel spreadsheet that shows everybody's results. So the only thing I've learned that residents like less than losing to other residents is when they lose to the interns. So if you're a third year resident and you're at the VA and you spent $12,000 and got it right, but the interns at the community hospital spent $8,000 and got it right, you're not very pleased with yourself. And that was our hook. We got them engaged and this has become the event of the month. People rearranged their schedules to come to this. We had to move morning report earlier in the day and the attendings now come in early to work. So it's really been fantastic. So the goal was to try and integrate cost awareness without displacing clinical education. I think we've done that. It's low cost, it's easy, it's highly popular. I think it's gonna be a real successful measure going forward. Thank you.